What's going on guys? Johnny with Blazer Grass Lawn Care. Have you ever had this situation happen to you? Now, I was mowing the yard and I didn't pay any attention to the side of the house. And guess what? I got mud lines. So now, you know, you start to panic, right? Oh my goodness, how am I gonna fix this, right? It looks like crap. So, pretty easy. Now, keep it in mind, if this was um, a regular property, I would have actually walked the property first, and I did walk the property first. So, but, but my issue was that this is a home for sale, so I had to get it done. Um, you know, you have people coming in and out here and there trying to purchase this house, and the last thing you want is to, for the yard to look like crazy, right? Because the homeowners aren't here and they're paying me for it. So I decided to just go ahead and mow the front, and then I can come back to do the back in a couple of days, right? But once I hit the sides, you know, um, I, I see that? It just started to make tracks all right so let me show you how you can fix these lines if you make them all right all you have to do man is get your hose which conveniently they have right here <laughs> get your hose Let's, let's go with this and just wash it off man just wash it off because these lines are mud lines okay it's just the mud and the dirt that is on top of the uh, of the grass okay and you can tell these are disappearing right here I know, right? I can speed it up, guys, but I don't want to. I just want to show you because, you know, don't don't panic, okay? Don't panic. It happens to the best of us, but you can minimize the mud lines just by doing this. And hopefully you have a hose, right? <laughs> and water available. To get rid of these lines, right? I know. All right. So as you can tell, and once once it dries, guys, you, you're not going to even see it. You know what I mean? Let me get some more. I'll take it as far as I can. Holes want to start acting up on me. There you go. And you just wash it off. <laughs> Alright guys, just a little tip for you guys that make uh, marks. Guys, the last thing you want to do, let me tell you man, the last thing you want to do is to just drive off and leave this. Okay? Um, yes, the home is for sale, but what happens is if as soon as I leave, the real estate agent shows up to show the house. You know what I mean? Then the first thing they're going to do is they're going to call the, uh, the homeowner and say, Man, the guy who you left here to mow your lawn 
tore up your yard that's what they're gonna say he tore up the yard the yard looked like crap you could have sold his house and and now you can't sell it because keep in mind guys people are quick to blame the long guy right <clears throat> not knowing that this is just mud marks all right let me put this hose back over here so yeah this is what it looks like guys and it will dry in a few and you won't be able to see see you can barely see them from here but I mean on the other side of this show but yeah you see this yep so I got the holes from over there and we're gonna get rid of this right here And I know some of you guys are probably saying that this is an overkill, right? But the last thing you want to do, guys, is to leave this looking like this. And even the neighbors, the neighbors will see this. And then you look like you don't know what the heck you're doing, right? So we're going to get rid of this brown line. And all this is, is mud. Also, look at it this way. If the neighbors see you doing this, they go, Dad, this guy goes above and beyond, right? All right, look. And once it dries, you won't be able to see it. All right, so now it looks good, and we're good to go because I'm sure, let me tell you guys, somebody is at home looking out the window watching what I'm doing. And the last thing you want is somebody to say, Dag, this company just left the thing looking like crazy. Look, look at that. It looks, it looks presentable. And that's clean. All right, man. Like I said before, you guys have a great one. Tips and tricks, boy. Let's get it hopping. Ah, whatever. Pop smoke. Peace.